Hello, and thank you for joining us for our web.com video tutorial. This guide focuses on our websites using the WordPress platform. In this video, we will cover converting visual text to use Site Origin Page Builder and adding widgets to the page if the plugin is installed. We'll go to All Pages from the sidebar, and I'll choose a page that does not use Page Builder yet. I'll just grab the page named Home, which is also the front page. In this example, there isn't any page content here, so I will add the text, Welcome to my page. Now I can go to the top corner and click Page Builder, and a pop-up appears. Would you like to copy this editor's existing content to Page Builder? I will click OK. Now we can see a widget has been added called Site Origin Editor to the Page Builder. This section is in a row, so I can click on this wrench icon to edit the row. If I want to add columns, I can change this to 2, so it makes both 50% width each, so I can adjust this to 40%. Now I can right click on this empty column and add a new widget. I'll add another site origin editor here. I can click on this widget, and then click Add Media to find a photo in my library. So I can grab this pool photo here, change the size to full size, and remove the link, and change the alignment to center. Then click Insert Into Page, and then click Done. If I go back to my other text block, I can adjust the formatting for this text. I can highlight it, and as you can see, it's only a paragraph size. If I want to change the size, I can click this and choose a style in the drop-down list to choose a Heading 1 or H1 tag. If you don't see the styling toolbar, you can click on this icon here to toggle it to show. If I uncheck it here, the toolbar disappears. This bar includes my styling, sizes, and colors. I'll also reduce the size and change the color to a nice shade of blue. This one will do. Welcome to my page. I can also add a hyperlink here for contact us today. And link the contact us with the insert edit link icon to link to my contact page. I can also click on the link options and choose if I want to open this in a new window. This is an internal page, so I don't need to do that. And click the update button. And done. And I'll click preview. In another example, I'll show you adding widgets to a page I've already converted to Site Origin Page Builder using one row and a text block added. Next, I'll add a new row with the Add Row and set this to three columns. This one I'll make 60%, which auto-adjusts the other two when I click on this white area beneath. 
Then click insert, and as you can see, one, two, three. This makes the widest one in the middle of the page. Now I can click the button add widget to see the full list and choose this one, ninja form. It automatically adds to the wrong spot, but I can drag and drop this wherever I want. I can move it here, or here, but I want it here in the middle. I can also add content here, so I can right click and type search, or add things like the site origin image widget, which I'll choose here. Then I can click choose media to find a photo in my media library. So I can choose this photo and click Set Media. This widget lets me set the image size without any editor, change alignment, and link the image very easily. Now I can click the Ninja Form widget to find the form I want to show here. Just click on the drop down list and set the Contact Us form. Then click Done. Then I can preview my changes. In this preview, you can see the image is too small. So I can return to the edit page window, click the wrench to edit the row, and change this to two columns. I'll change this to 60% width, and hit done. Now I can just move these items around to be in the proper spots, and I can preview again. There, that's much better. And that is how you use Site Origin Page Builder for WordPress websites. Thank you for watching our video guide for WordPress websites. We hope you enjoy the rest of our videos. Check back later for future tutorials.